everyone, this is Jennifer Edwards from Weekends Count and I'm super excited to talk with everyone about the Selectivore Arr! account. So I love the icon, it looks like a dinosaur and it's very catchy. So this is how you sign up for it, it says your dashboard lets you quickly plan events, organize groups you frequently eat with, celebrate profiles, or, sorry not celebrate, create! Profiles for family members and access your directory of selectable contacts. And so this is really neat. Um, this is the dashboard. And um, on the left hand side, it has your food profile and your detailed food list. And if you click next, it says your food profile summarizes your personal food preferences and allows you to quick search if a foodie food is right for your preferences. So just next. And then your detailed food list lets you browse extensive list of foods that are not okay for your preferences, which is very, very um, important, especially for those of us with food allergies. Then um, you can use the plus button to quickly add an event, group, family profile, or directory contact. And so that's important as well because say if you have a food allergy, something bad happens, they'll know who to contact. And um, they do have a disclaimer, the Selectivore app is not an attempt to practice medicine and does not give practical medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. So that's their, their disclaimer, and I definitely understand and agree, and I will check my foods for safety prior to eating. Then um, it will aggregate your food and educational data gathered from various resources. So we'll check that out as well. And then this has the the EULA or the end user agreement. And then you see my profile. So you see my name, Jennifer Edwards. It says I have no events, I have no groups, I have no family. I have no family. And then I have do not have any contacts in my directory. So let's see if we can add a food profile. So for me, um, I have uh, entered these in earlier, but all peanut and foods with peanuts. All pork products are, I don't have an allergy, but I avoid them. I avoid beef and food products with beef and then fried food. And so you can share the um, information by clicking this button um, with your groups and let's see where it goes. Okay, so you can share it to copy a link to email it to somebody or you can share it on Facebook or you can share it on WhatsApp. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so this is my food profile and if you type the food name here, so say if you're allergic to shellfish. You can see all of the, oops, I'll spell it correctly. You can see all of the foods with shellfish are in here, or you probably want to type in shrimp or things of that nature so you can see it. Okay, let's go back to the detailed food list. So, um, filter allowed foods, maybe allowed foods, not allowed foods. So, let's see what this is. Oh, well, so it took my, that's really neat. So it took my um, food profile and it has like all pork products, um, beef products, etc. And if you click it, it gives a definition. But then like over here, the detailed food list, you can click not allowed food, which is yellow, green, and red. And then you can click the ones that you are not allowed to have. So not allowed food. So this would be very important for my little one. So I can't have corn chip. I don't know what that is. Oh, this fried food. Sorry. And then then um, peanut oil, veal, tortilla chips, flour, etc. So it outlines like what you can't have. And so it will tell you that this is not okay <laughs> because you avoid all beef and foods with, foods with beef. And so this is also important if you're looking on a menu and you don't know the definition of something, you can look to say, okay, if just in case uh, on your menu you see the pinceta chapter then um, see if I saw it I would know what it is so I would look it up all here to see if that's like in my diet and it's not because it was apparently a pork product so and also veal you know I could not have veal because veal is technically a food with veal is beef lambs are beef lambs are beef I don't know <laughs> my husband said that so, um, and then also it says maybe allowed food, zero, and then allowed food, so those are the ones that um, 
I am allowed to have. But actually, let's see what happens if I scroll down and I go to Fava. F-A-V-A. -A. Goodness, that's going to be a lot of scrolling. Scroll, scroll, scroll. As you can see, it has like a lot of different things on here. So Fava. I cannot have Fava. So we are going to go back to our food profile. And I'll search for Fava. F-A-V-A. And then Fava B. And then I will add that to my list of things I cannot have. But I don't know how to do that, maybe. Okay. I'm allergic to father. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. And that was correct. And there we go. So the food profile father's on my do not want list. Okay, so dashboard, it says I have no event, so um, say if I have an event and it's uh, birthday party. Okay, so we know those are or like Thanksgiving or Christmas. So the day of the event, we'll just say it's seven, um, two, twenty, oops, twenty eighteen, time six, thirteen. Okay, next. Then I can search and add my husband. Oh, okay. It says I can search for all selected words. Okay, or I can invite a contact. Add myself as a member. No notes. Okay, and then you can share like your food profile preferences with the people who are uh, in the group. And so, yeah, so it has my first event and any notes associated with that event. Then it has like my groups. So let's see. And then I guess those are groups of like people that you're going to get together with often so you can know their food preferences and also your family members, especially for Thanksgiving, Christmas, things of that nature. That's important as well. And then my directory. So I guess those are all of my contacts that I want to add in here to select the board. Um, so yeah, it's an easy way of getting to it as well. It has a log off outcome, or not outcome, icon as well. And um, I guess that's it, guys. This is a really cool app. I will definitely use it. And um, this video is sponsored by Selectivore. But um, I would probably download it anyway because it's very robust. And I don't like getting in situations where I don't know what foods are. And um, I can avoid them if I don't know the exact name. So the only thing I would say is it would be great if this was also in Spanish, um, especially since we're in Texas to see on a Spanish menu if there's some um, items that I can't have, like chorizo, uh, this would be on my list. So um, let's actually see if chorizo is on here, so to see if any, um, T-H-O-R, so chorizo is not on here. So I would add some Spanish foods as well. So there we go. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to uh, share this video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.